Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Today we are back with a Premier League video as we dissect the opening of the Premier League season and look at that relegation battle because there's so many teams down there I think it's worth talking about. Before we get into today's video guys, if you haven't already, make sure you've hit that like button. Let's get 100 likes for this one. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's talk about the teams. So then, starting in 20th place and working our way up, we have Norwich City with two points in 20th place from nine games. It's not been a good start for Norwich and I think we all did expect this. I think Norwich always do usually get relegated when they are in the Premier League and it is usually in bottom place as well. The Norwich fans might have had a little bit of optimism coming into this season. There was a couple of transfers to talk about but uh, ultimately with Wendy going and not an awful amount of quality coming in with the way the Premier League's going, I think Norwich were always going to be tipped to be one of the teams to go down. There's a couple of positives for the Norwich fans. They picked up a couple of clean sheets, a couple of points, but obviously they still haven't got that first win. And to be fair to them, it's been a tough start as well. They've played Chelsea, Man City, Liverpool and Brighton, who are the current top four. And they've also played Arsenal, who are in a bit of good form at the moment as well. So it was always going to be tough for Norwich City, but I think there's a couple of games in there where you see it as missed opportunities. Burnley away, OK, it's not an easy game, but nil-nil. Maybe they could have nicked that one. That would have been a massive three points. A nil-nil against Brighton. If they'd have just pinched that one, it'd have been a massive three points. They lost at home to Watford, which is a criminal result when you've just come up and they've just come up. So I think the writing is on the wall for Norwich. They could still turn it around. Remember, they've got few quality players in there and what's important for the Norwich team and the Norwich players and the Norwich fans for them to keep that optimism alive is to just stay within touching distance. They don't have to burst out of the bottom three at this point in time. They could stay in the bottom three for most of the season then just stay up but it's about staying in touching distance. They need that first win soon. Will they get it soon? In 19th place you have Newcastle United and a couple of weeks ago you might be saying this is a team that's going down and it's now become this massive wild card because of the takeover. It's really changed everything at Newcastle United. They're still changing in that first win if we're talking about the football on the pitch nine games in it's been pretty horrific for the Newcastle fans no wins in nine is really bad for a club like Newcastle four draws okay it's four points but like I say you just want at least one or two wins by now there's been a couple of draws the Leeds game the Southampton game the Palace game against teams in and amongst it that you think if they'd have just beat them they'd be shooting out of there but Newcastle are in the thick of it and they really need their first win soon but I don't know if they're going to go down. I think come January, it's really going to be interesting to see how much money is pumped into the club, how much money they can spend. Because if they can go wild, then they can burst out of that bottom three easy. Depends how crazy they go. If they don't, then does that team have enough quality to stay up? I'm not sure. They've obviously got Callum Wilson. I love him. Sam Maximan's a quality player. But ultimately, there's quite a few average players in that starting eleven. Newcastle could go down, but it'd be interesting to see what happens in January. Next then, in 18th place, in a similar predicament to Newcastle United, are Burnley. Four points from nine, four draws and five defeats. And I think the Burnley fans might be a bit concerned, but I don't think everyone else is particularly worried for Burnley right now because they're a team that always just find a way, don't they? Even if they have a slow start, they find a way. To be honest, I think I could see Burnley staying up, but I think one thing we've all learned in football is a team that always stays up it can't always work. Some teams try and stay up every season and one season they will be caught out because the quality is improved and what they do just doesn't work anymore. And I think it could be one of those seasons where Burnley just end up not being good enough and Sean Dyche can't get them over the line. But uh, it'd be interesting. I think Burnley are going to be in the fight, but they need to get their first win pretty soon as well. In 17th place are Leeds United. They'll be thankful they're not in that bottom three, but it is a very slow start comparing it to last season when they really set the bar quite high. Only one win in that opening nine. It's good that they got it against Watford. And they're another team that have drawn four games, which makes you think four games where they probably could have won any of those just to get them that second or third win and really push them away. I think the thing with Leeds is there's a lot of quality in that team. Bamford, Rafinha, so long as injuries don't hit that team, I think Leeds could stay up with Bielsa as well. You just think the football they can play can get them away from it. But... Once again, in football, we've learnt with teams like Sheffield United, second season syndrome can hit you hard. I think Leeds will stay up, though, but it might be tight. In 16th place are Southampton, a team you think you're going to have to keep your eye on this season. I think their fans will know it might be a long season. They could stay up, but it might not be a pretty season. I think we saw at the weekend that 2-2 draw with Burnley, a game they really could have won. I genuinely do think Danny Ings' departure is a really big miss, and I think it's quite criminal, actually. I think that could be the signing that could take them down. Ultimately, they've still got a decent team. James Ward-Prowse's quality, that Broa is scoring goals as well. But Danny Ings going, it's just a big hit for me and it really does seem to have taken Southampton a couple notches down the table without those goals, obviously. 
I still think they've got enough quality to stay up, but they're going to be in and amongst it, so it'll be interesting to see what happens to Southampton. In 15th place are Crystal Palace, and I'll be honest and say, I think I've got this wrong, because at the start of the season, I said they'd go down. I just think with Roy Hodgson going and Patrick Vieira coming in with not much Premier League managerial experience, I just thought Palace wouldn't have enough. But do you know what? They're 15th, and I think they could be a lot higher. I think there's a few games they've really deserved to win and not won. The Brighton game in the last minute, that was unlucky. The game at West Ham, that was a really good game. And obviously they drew at the weekend, just gone against Newcastle as well. So a few draws in there, which will frustrate Crystal Palace. But ultimately with Benteke scoring goals, Gallagher looking really good, I think Palace should have enough to stay up. I think there's a lot of quality in that Palace team. And yeah, I think they might just stay up this season. Next up are Watford and that win at the weekend against Everton just seems to have changed everything for me. Before that, I was thinking Watford are going to do very well to stay up this season because they beat Villa just 3-2 on the opening day. They won away at Norwich, which a lot of teams will probably do this season. But 5-2 at Everton is the kind of result which changes everything. Who'd have seen Watford going there and winning like that? Obviously, the ending to the game was amazing. Four goals in the last 10 minutes. They really torn them apart. And with Ranieri, Watford could be a bit of a wild card. It's really hard to see where Watford could finish now. They could ultimately still go down or they could really push on and maybe even strive for the top 10. They've got a lot of quality going forwards with the likes of King and Dennis. And I don't know with Watford, they're just a strange team. They've gone from losing 5-0 to Liverpool to beating Everton 5-2. That is the nature of the Premier League and Watford are a team to watch out for this season. The last team we're going to talk about are Aston Villa in 13th place, a team that I didn't expect to get relegated and I still think they probably won't. But the recent form has actually kind of dragged them into it a little bit. They're nearly on a point per game, which means it could be tight. I think if they get that next win pretty soon and even get back-to-back -back wins at some point, then they'll pull away from it and I still think... They should be all right this season. But you just think with Jack Grealish going, the form not looking great lately, could this be a season of regression for Villa? They could just stay up, but it's still not as good a season as last. And to be honest, they did set the bar pretty high last season, a bit like with Leeds United. So, yeah, I still think Villa should stay up, but it's going to be the games against the teams down there that could prove vital. If they lose to the likes of Burnley and Norwich, then they all of a sudden get sucked into it. Could be interesting. So then, guys, that wraps up today's video talking about the Premier League relegation battle. It is still early days. A lot could change. I am presuming that the teams above Villa should be all right this season. That does include the likes of Brentford, who obviously did come up this season, but I just can't see a way in which Brentford will get relegated this season. I ultimately think it will be between that current bottom six or seven, so it's going to be interesting to see how the Premier League season plays out. If you've enjoyed this video guys, please make sure you've dropped a like on this one. Like I say, let's get 100 likes on this. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.